good? Team Exclusive and welcome back to yet another FIFA 21 video. Today we have the Europa League Road to the Final cards. As you can see, uh, behind me just up there, we've got, um, we should show a picture actually. But yeah, we got five Europa League Road to the Final cards in store and I'll go through those in just a second, show you what's going on. Of course, today we do have a brand new SPC uh, in the way of uh, a towel. Um, it looks like a real... I was going to say he looks like a really nice card, but uh, he, he's actually outstanding the average. Um, you know, got good dribbling, to be fair. Got really good high-end dribbling, good high-end pace as well for right-back. Uh, but defending physicals, you know, they're very average, very well-rounded. And uh, passing and shooting is very well-rounded as well. Uh, if anything, he'd probably be quite good as a CM um, if you were to play him. So maybe as a, as a good super sub. He is very cheap, so... You know, I, I think he's definitely worth going for. Of course, he does have, as you saw, the uh, five-star weak foot and four-star skills, high, medium, five foot nine. Very good-looking card. Uh, but we'll get into that in just a second. So first things first, we're going to have a quick look at the road to the final players in the game at the moment. Of course, you can see them there. But uh, first one is Musa Diaby, 84 rated. Got a pretty good boost to I me mean, from 81. He's uh, he obviously 90... Well, Wait, he already had 99 pace, did he? No, he had 93. What was that about? Okay. Okay, two seconds. Right, so he didn't have 99 pace, but uh, he might as well have because he's got 95. So he's got a boost of plus two pace, plus five shooting, which is taking up to 71, uh, plus four passing, plus four physical, three defending, and three dribbling. He's going for about 180, 160, 180,000 coins on what platform uh you know incredible pace incredible dribbling really agility balance dribbling that kind of stuff composure is a bit low um but overall he doesn't actually look too terrible besides just having really terrible shooting passing and, and physicals but uh, of course you could stick a chemistry style hawk gives a bit i mean doesn't really do much for his strength or what have you but shooting is okay Obviously, you could do a lot of different things with him. You could boost his passing and, and shooting and that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, overall, he looks he looks quite good. It's just, I think, quite average. He's only got two star, four star, so you know, not uh, not the best player in the world. And he's been downvoted quite a lot on footbin. So moving on to the next one, we have uh, Wilfred and Didi, eighty six. Got a good two uh, plus two boost on his original card. I mean, his original card was was godly anyway. Um, I mean, look at that, 71 pace, 87 defending, 84 physical, 74 dribbling. But now he's got uh, plus two in pace, plus two in shooting, plus four in passing, two in uh, physicals, two in defending, and three in dribbling. So very good looking card, of course, going for a uh, quite warranted 420,000 coins or thereabouts. Um, yeah, I mean, incredibly incredibly well-rounded in most areas obviously defending physical being uh the standout attributes looking good 92 interceptions 91 stand tackle i mean 94 stamina is, is incredible 92 jumping as well just it's just really good i mean there's not really an area i think he too bad on besides maybe obviously shooting but he, he is a cdm at the end of the day uh he is a cdm so i think that's uh i think that's quite fair but maybe passing could do a bit bit of work let's have a look i can't remember what um what chemistry style does what uh i want the i think it's architect isn't it uh where are we there we are so architect does physical not really what i wanted which one let's just put a finisher so he has a bit of boost i think it's a bit a bit wasted doing uh any kind of finishing boost but uh you could do you know, you could definitely boost up his pace and what have you. But either way, it looks like a very, very good looking card. Uh, next one then we have, of course, is uh, Bruno Perez. Got an, a uh, plus four boost on his original card. Plus three pace, plus four shooting, plus six passing, four physical, seven defending and five dribbling. So he looks like a very, very usable card. Of course, his, uh, his original card was um, is very, uh, what's the word? It was very good for starter squads but now it's uh, kind of out of out of the power curve he does look quite good now though i don't know how much he's going for if i could have a quick refresh see if it'll bring up a price it doesn't so he is in packs isn't he where is it yeah he is in packs uh, i just he obviously hasn't been packed i don't really know but 
yeah, incredible, incredible um, pace for right back. Good dribbling as well. Uh, I mean, he's got very uh, okay passing. Probably do some work. Shooting's obviously not brilliant, but what do you expect? Defending's okay. He's got um, okay strength and okay stamina. Well, good stamina, really good stamina. Um, but yeah, so I think if you put a um, what we got backbone, that probably would uh, probably help him out quite a lot. Got got okay passing now. Incredible high end defending. So yeah, it looks like a really good looking card. Um, but I can't say much too much, too much about him because um, yeah, he obviously hasn't been he hasn't been packed. But he looks he looks okay to be honest. Uh, next one, of course, we have is the big man uh, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang going for one point eight milli. Um, he just looks sensational, but he's only got a plus one. Uh, so he's got a plus one on pace, plus one on shooting, two on uh, passing, one on physical, one on defending, and two on dribbling. Um, the the thing about him is he hasn't really got, you know, too much of an upgrade. I've got his 87, so it's like, you know, when I saw it come out, I was like, oh my god, that's incredible. But he ultimately has a plus one, so it's like, you know, I, I don't think it's too much or too worth going crazy over. But, of course, it is a live item, so it will get upgraded in in due time and uh if you back arsenal to go quite far in the europe league then um you know more power to you but obviously uh comparing what we've been doing in the league for arsenal uh, you know i think it'd be quite debatable to back arsenal uh we are pretty shit so um <laughs> that's uh that's your own risk but of course his card is just incredible it was incredible anyway it's got you know what can you say he's just got high-end pass uh, uh he's got high-end pace um, it's not really much to talk about there. He's got incredible shooting, 92 finishing, 94 positioning, just what you want from a striker. He's got good dribbling for quite a tall, quite a tall man at six foot two, four star, four star. Um, so he's, you know, agility balance. That's definitely something that needed work from his last card, and it's at a plus two boost from both of those. Defending is irrelevant. Uh, physical is always quite good. Strength is okay. Stamina is pretty good. Jumping's okay. He does win quite a few balls, but passing. Definitely need some work. So, uh, yeah, obviously, 1.8 million. A bit unrealistic to uh, to say he's, you know, obtainable, but he does look quite good as well if you have that kind of money. Of course, there's a tile, but then the last one is Renato Sanchez getting a uh, plus four in his base card, but, of course, being equal to his team of the week in form, which went for 200,000 coins. Of course, this one is going for near 800,000 coins. Um, from his inform, he's got a plus one on shooting and plus one on defending, so pretty much the same card. Again, incredibly well-rounded. This card is sensational. Really is sensational. Dribbling's good. Physical, physical's good. Defending's okay for a CM. Not predominantly a CDM, but he, he is okay for a CM. Shooting's okay. He's got good shot power, okay finishing, you know, for what he is. Obviously, that could be boosted up. Let's say a Hawk again, just for examples. Um... What would a what would a hunter do? So a hunter would boost his uh, yeah, give him really good shooting. But either way, uh, he's got uh, he's got really good passing as well and very good pace for what you need. Four star, four star, Portuguese league gun, quite good links as well. Can't really say too much about him. He he, he looks really good. And uh, again, it's one of those if you back if you back his team. I actually don't know what that team is, but uh, it's a league gun team. If you back that in the in the Europa League to actually go quite far, then. Um, yeah, he could actually get some nice upgrades. I think he's probably, you know, I, I think it'll be wrong to say he won't get some upgrades. I think he would, but obviously, so hard to tell. So hard to tell. Uh, yeah, looks really good. Either way, moving on to the player we're actually going to be completing today, which is Atal. Um, he's only 25,000 coins. I think he's, you know, I think he's really worth going for. Great pace. Obviously, we went through his card and he looks really good just in uh, in certain areas. Uh, very well rounded, but uh, yeah, 25,000 coins. You can't really go too wrong with that. Let's jump over to our game screen. So, Yusuf Atal. Now, we need to complete him. So, you need a uh, so you need an 83 rated squad, one team of the week, and one league un player. I'm going to complete this, um, save you waiting around because this video is probably quite long already. And we'll come back when I've completed the squad. Okay, so this is the squad. Uh, I've managed to complete this. It wasn't very difficult. You need one league and player, one team of the week, 83 rated team, as I'm probably sure I already explained. Uh, we've got Trapping Goal. We've got Sula, Boateng. Uh, we've got uh, Trippier. We've got Holstenberg, Emery Chan, um, Ruben Neves, Parejo, Willian. And then we've got Callum Wilson in form with Payet 
on the left. Only 80 chemistry, so it wasn't too unachievable. Um, some of the players I didn't really want to get rid of, but like, you know, Wilson's going for, what, 40, probably about 13, 12,000 coins, basically discard. Um, Payet, he's, uh, yeah, going for about 1,000 coins as well. He's probably a little bit inflated. Emery Chan, not going to have a look at all of them, but he's going for about 2k as well. And then the only one I didn't really want to get rid of was Sula, going for about, probably about 5,000 coins, but nothing too bank breaking. Either way, very simple to do. And there we go. So he has been completed. Um, yeah, again, doesn't look overly amazing. You know, not, not the best player in the world. He does look like a possibly quite a good super sub. But I do have to say that card design is... Ooh, that card design is uh, is pretty special. Pretty special. Uh, holds a lot of high hopes for team of the year coming coming around this year. I'm really excited to see what, um, what card. I was really hoping he was going to walk out. But either way... That is his card. Um, yeah, again, very average. Looks like a good soup sub. Good CM, possibly. 25,000 coins. You can't really go too wrong. I would recommend picking him up. And there we are. All done. So, hopefully you have enjoyed today's video. Um, if you have, please do drop it a like. I do want to do more of these. So, when more cards I think are, I'll actually want to complete, um, I'll, I'll do a video around it. Probably won't be quite as extensive for this one. I wanted to kind of go through the um the road to the final players in packs as well so that probably won't be a, a regular occurrence on every single one of these unlocking videos but uh, yeah either way if you did like it please do drop it a like that'd be very much appreciated um if you want to see more of this content please do drop it a uh, drop the channel a subscription that'd be greatly greatly appreciated as well um but for today uh, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time